years that Sarasota needs a homeless shelter. Um, I've been around different communities throughout the, the country, and there's so many that had something like that. Sarasota didn't. Uh, we have the Salvation Army, but the Salvation Army actually serves a niche market of, of drug addicts who are seeking that kind of help. And so all the people you have outside of those gates are the ones who are not ready for that kind of treatment. They're not, they're not ready to change their ways. And, and so they're not really offered that much assistance through that. I think what we're really looking for is for something bigger, something more Christ-like, uh, that accepts you as you are, that's coming to our shelter. And I was very supportive of Dr. Morgan because I wanted to see something done proactively. I, I was not good with the idea that, that in 2006 we were called the meanest city to homeless people. It's my hometown. I don't, I don't vibe well with that. And so I was very excited to see that we brought in this professional who was like, you know, the, the born most, most professional in this situation to come in and, and, and help us with this. Yet, as I've listened and as, as I've heard the, the cries of the community, when you consider the fact that if you're going to build an institution like this, if you build a machine like that, you're going to have to continue to feed it. And that's a lot of the problem with the way that we've, we've created our economy and, and our, our civilization is that we create these things to solve a problem and then we end up feeding the machine that's there to solve the problem. And when you really look at, at what we're dealt with, with the resources at our disposal, if you look at the article that came out a few weeks ago about the zombie homes that are in Sarasota, the 1,000 to 1,600 homes that people abandoned and that the bank hasn't been able to, to foreclose on yet, and these houses are just dilapidating in our neighborhoods. And we have these dilapidated homes and we have these dilapidated people. If we can use some resource management and use what, what Dr. Marbert has done through these first 11 steps of his plan, to help integrate our systems management, to help get these people realizing the skills that they have and what they're capable of. I think that we can marry these two and use these homes to be able to, to offer these people the dignity that they need. I